Hello YouTube. I want to thank uh, Mr. Thomas Kalheim for uh, kind of shaming me into lighting with a match this time. It's a skill that I'd like to. I've always wanted to really know, like learning how to drive stick, but I never really mastered how to drive stick. Anyway, I was saying to my partner, whatever happened to Thomas? Haven't heard from him for a while, I miss him. Next thing you know, he's on Instagram, holding his second grandchild. Grandchild. Um, he had a boy, he had a grandson a couple years ago, now he has a granddaughter. And I said, hey, congratulations, it's good to see you, Tomas. Uh, good seeing you again. He goes, I mentioned you in my last uh, YouTube video. I said, well, I can't believe I missed that. I'll go check that out. So I go check that out. It's Christmas Eve, and the first thing he does, <laughs> he lights up, he lights his uh, trusty Mearsham, which, by the way, thanks to him, I got this one because I love the look of this, and he has one that's pretty similar to this one. And he says, this is for the gentleman scholar. I'm going to light my pipe with a match. It's not that hard. I'm not making fun of you. No, I got that from the beginning. Uh, it was done out of love and of affection, which I appreciate because I said, well, you know, after, go, after loading the wood, I should go down and get my Mearsham out light up with a pipe, uh, light my pipe up with a match, and it seems to be, seems to be successful. They are good smokers, so thank you, Tomas. I'll be sending you a letter, I'll be writing out a letter for you this afternoon and sending it out. But uh, it was good to hear from you again, and uh, I really, I, I did enjoy that lesson. I actually took my method right from your, right from your video. So, thank you. I appreciate that. Tomas was a old hand pipe smoker. Speaking of speaking of which, hold on. Housekeeping, in a in my Mirsham, Santa surprise. I was looking for my friend, Dell's Ayrshire mix from Scotland, but I could not locate it. So I just went with with one of the choices that are down here. Same as portrait, except maybe a little fruitier to befit the Christmas season. Um, thank you, Pappy, again for teaching me the just below the rim method for smoking. It seems to be a lot better. So thank you for your tips as well. 
I'll tell you this, you can never have enough mentors when it comes to pipe smoking. That's mainly what I joined the YTPC for, to tap into the wellspring of vast knowledge that's out there to help me become a better pipe man. And yes, it's maybe a better pipe smoker. And it's something like a average average Mike pipe smoker says it's something that you always have to toil after. You it's like playing golf. You're always learning new ways to smoke a pipe. to mention this hat. This hat was given to me by a good friend, God, lost, God rest his soul, Mr. John Primerano. Met him on a flight to Amsterdam and he was wearing a hat like this, so of course, you know, I struck up a conversation because World War II vets, they were leaving us quickly. So I chat with them. He's, he was going over to Amsterdam for a commemoration that the Dutch were throwing him for helping to liberate their country. So I kept in touch with him. Via letters and everything else, turns out that he just, he lived like about, I want to say like, maybe 15, 20 miles from me, up in the town of Exeter, New Hampshire. So I visited him once. Uh, big World War II buff. He, he used to do talks around talks around schools and everything like that. I'm sure, his, I mean, his, his house was like a World War II museum. I would hazard to say that his time, he was in the Battle of Bastogne. And uh, I would hazard to say it was probably the, I, I'm not going to say the happiest time in his life, but probably the time he felt most part of something. So he kept every scrap of information. I mean, he had his little, he had to lay down wire line so that uh, there could be phone calls back behind the lines to his superiors. He had that box in there. He had a, he had the fragment of a grenade that had just missed him. One second sooner would have embedded himself in his skull or something like that. So, we kept them as teaching tools, taught his children, grandchildren, and then he would do talks all around the New Hampshire area about the war in his uniform, which he mostly still fit, fit into. Good for him, too. Was there more dents like that? He even wrote a book. I guess a writer came up from some college down south and actually moved to Exeter, you know, for a stretch, rented herself up a place so she could, like, research his story and pound it to some sort of narrative form. John Primerano. I find the title of the book. I'll put it in the, the bucket down below. Anyway. I just wanted to say hello. See how you're doing? This is like some sort of miracle. Um, doing a video two or three days after my last one, so we should play, play the lottery or something. I um, defeated my own purpose going to see Spider-Man No Way Home today. I booked at the wrong theater way over in Merrimack, and I didn't feel like going to Merrimack to see a movie theater. I thought it was just down the street. 
So, I don't know, the universe is trying to tell me I'm not supposed to see this movie yet, so maybe I'll wait. If there's an easier window of opportunity, I'll probably see it in my local theater here, or I'll just wait for it to show up on Disney+, Plus. that's all. Super, it's kind of like mandatory for a superhero junkie to see the latest Marvel movie, so... Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves, and we'll speak to you later. À la prochaine.